Today, state prosecutors connected the dots between Alec Murdoch, Curtis Eddie Smith, and the suspect who supplied the oxycodone pills. Jerry Rivers pleaded guilty to a slew of money laundering, fraud, and drug charges in front of Judge Clifton Newman today. State prosecutor Johnny James says Rivers' drug deals went down during the 2020 lockdown. That's when the Walterboro native sold a large quantity of pills to Eddie Smith, who in turn gave it to his cousin Murdoch mainly Roxy and Oxy pills. The state says Rivers profited as much as $40 for every pill he sold to Smith. In all, collecting more than 16 checks from Smith, totaling $88,000. The last check coming in on September 3rd, 2021, just one day before the alleged botched suicide plot on the side of the road with Smith and Murdoch. Ever since this, I've been associated with Alex Murdoch and all that, and people judging me for that, and that's not me. I'm not that. I've never met this guy. I don't know nothing about that. You know, I did what I did, and but now my family has to go through all this stuff because, you know, decisions I made, but I just feel like I just deserve one you know, chance to prove myself. In addition, Rivers said he became addicted to the oxy pills while dealing with large quantities for Murdoch's addiction. Judge Newman's compassion was on full display today. He read a letter written by Jerry Rivers' aunt who begged for mercy for her wayward nephew. During the letter, Rivers started to cry. Newman agreed to modify Rivers' bond and release him to a drug rehabilitation program while he awaited sentencing. Rivers faces 5 to 20 years for his crimes, which include fraudulent COVID-19 unemployment loans and other bogus loans that the investigators discovered while they were looking into the link between Murdoch and Rivers. Rivers sentencing will be at a later date in Colleton County. Reporting in Kershaw County, I'm Ann Emerson. After Rivers' hearing today, Judge Newman scheduled two more hearings for convicted Murdoch conspirators Corey Fleming and Russell Lafitte, both of whom face state charges for the same fraud charges they were convicted of in federal court. Those hearings are set for next Wednesday.